What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the Pokemon Scarlet Box Art Legendary in Regulation G. We got ourselves a Coridon team. Now Coridon, super dope Pokemon with an absolute fire design, is a fire and dragon type and has access to an amazing ability, Aura Calcum Pulse. Now this ability right here makes Coridon every time it hops onto the field set the sun, which is amazing because weather control is top tier in double battles. Furthermore, it will actually boost Coridon's attack stat whenever it is in the sun, making this Pokemon hit like a truck, pretty much one-shotting everything. So Coridon is going to be massive in the sun, and we're pairing it up with other Pokemon that really thrive out in the sun today. Coridon over here has the clear amulet as the item, Rock and Flare Blitz for big time damage in the sun, Collision Course, which is its signature fighting move. On top of that, it's got Protect and Breaking Swing. Other Pokemon on today's team, we got Rillaboom and Incineroar, double fake out users. You guys have been seeing this combo a lot on the rank ladder or casual ladder, just in this game in general. And it's good. It's good. Like both Pokemon are top tier, two fake out users. Cannot go wrong with that. But our final three Pokemon really thrive out in the sun. One, you got Torkoal. Torkoal, obviously top tier in the sun. You got Walking Wake and Fluttermane. Two Paradox Pokemon with Protosynthesis as their ability. So anytime they're in the sun, they will get their highest stat boosted even more. So making these Pokemon 10 times stronger. But yeah, that's pretty much what this team is about. Setting the sun and just getting after it hyper offensively. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you guys do want to run this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video at any time, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Coridon. Loading into our first match, and I'm super excited to be using Coridon in today's video. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Been riding around with it on my game for, I don't even know, the past two years, considering I have Pokemon Scarlet. But we're going up against a Groudon team, so Sun is going to be in effect. I'm going to end up leading the Coridon because, obviously, Sun is going to be out here pretty much the full time. And for our second Pokemon that we want to lead, I could honestly just go into you or Fluttermane just to get some speed down. Because they are rather faster Pokemon. But Shen Pao could outspeed us, which is a little bit of a problem. But I do have Fire Terror type, which is pretty big time for us. Um, I do like the Fire Terror type up against a lot of these guys, except for Groudon, because obviously Chrysopice Blades is going to be a big time threat. But I still like Choice Spec Fluttermane in the sun. So I'm going to end up leading both of these Pokemon. We're going to get after it. I could honestly lead like a uh, Intimidate user instead, which might be a little bit better for us. A lot of physical attackers. A lot. A lot of physical attackers. So, you know, we are going to end up leading an Intimidate Pokemon with Fluttermane and obviously going to go into Walking Wake in the back end here. So, two Protosynthesis Pokemon. We're going to lead our Intimidate user right off the rip. Maybe Parting Shot out afterwards. Swap out afterwards. Maybe Protect Crydon for a turn. You never know. You never know. Let's just see who they end up leading here because they have multiple different options. Obviously, I want them to lead physical attackers such as maybe Groudon or Shen Pao so Intimidate can get some nice little effects going on here. But I could see them leading like maybe like Grim Snarl. Could see them leading their own Fluttermane. They got a lot of different options. So we'll see. What do you got cooking here? You're gonna end up going into Fluttermane and Grim Snarl. Okay. The Fluttermane Grim Snarl come out here. Um, not too bad. I mean, Coridon's gonna be four times weak to to what's it called? Fairy moves. That's a little bit of a problem. Definitely a little bit of a problem. I am gonna protect it this turn, and then I'll just terrestrialize it next turn. And instead of fake out, I might just go for a parting shot here. To be honest, I think that's our best bet. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a nice big time parting shot. Just protect my Coridon. She's looking tough. And we'll see what they want to do. Reflect or something? Yeah, Reflect's going to pop out here. No big deal. Hopefully you go for a Moonblast into Coridon. And you end up just going for Dazzling Gleam, which is okay. I mean, Coridon's going to be able to block. I'm going to be able to send this this way. Where he's going to hit me with Parting Shot. Or not Parting Shot. He's going to hit me with Dazzling Gleam. And then I'm going to hit him with Parting Shot. So we dropped our special attack by one. We don't go for Fake Out this turn. And I think that's pretty solid. Honestly, we could have went for Fake Out into Grimstarl. And then just like Terrasalize Florida Blitz. But I think this is a little bit better for us. Because now I can just go into you. Who can freely Dazzling Gleam with Choice Specs. And then I can just Terrasalize my Coridon. And maybe just Flare Blitz and KO the Flutter Main. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Even through Reflect, I think we can potentially just KO this thing. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Go Flare Blitz. I'm going to pop a nice little Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to choice into Dazzling Gleam, I should say. And uh, look for some big time damage here. So out comes our Terra. We're not dealing with a four times weak Fairy Pokemon. So we have to Terrasalize into a nice big time Fire type. 
So that's Coridon's one main weakness, is its typing. Fairy is such a massive typing, being four times weak to it is really tough. It's really tough, but luckily Terra's in the game. We love good old Terra. So Light Screen's out and about here as well, so now they got both of them on the field. They're gonna go for Dash and Gleam, not too bad for us. Coridon's able to soak like crazy, Dash and Gleam's gonna fly. Big time damage into the Grimstorm slot, and then Flutter Blitz says no problem, see you later. Get on out of here, Flutter Man. That's a big time KO. That's a big time KO. We take out their Speedster. Another Dazzling Gleam can take out Grimmsnarl. And hopefully we can outspeed whoever they bring out here next, right? Because if we can, I mean, that's going to be a double KO. Let's see. Who you got? going to be Groudon. We should outspeed this Pokemon. We should outspeed this Pokemon. And at this point, do we just stick with Flare Blitz or do I go Collision Course? I'm going to go Collision Course. Let's have some fun with this one. Let's use its signature move. Stick with Dash and Gleam here. I could actually intimidate if I wanted, but I'll just save my intimidate user. We'll go for Dash and Gleam. We will go for Collision Course. And we'll see how this one plays. Because right now, we are just fully boosted in this weather. We got Coridon getting his boost from its ability. We're getting Choice Specs boost on Fluttermane. And then on top of that, Protosynthesis boost. We just love it. Our Pokemon are thriving out in the sun right now. They are just thriving out in the sun. So we're going to end up seeing a Terra type pop out here from probably Groudon. And hopefully it's not Ghost, right? That'd be, that'd be very terrible if it is. And it's going to be Fire. The good thing we did switch up into the Fighting move. I mean, Dazzle Gleam doesn't really get too much help from that. But I like the Fighting move here better than a Flare Blitz. So Dazzle Gleam going to fly here. We're going to say bye-bye to Grimstone. I'll do about negative six damage to this Groudon. And he's probably going for Precipice Blades if I had to guess, right? Most likely. Let's see how much damage Collision Course can do. Collision Course. Get a crit. Get a crit. This move looks sick, though. Oh my lord, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Doing decent amount of damage, but I think they're going to pick up a double KO. Oh, someone's dodging. Who's dodging? Fluttermane dodges. That kind of sucks. I want to cry on the game. But still, I'll keep Fluttermane. I like Fluttermane. The big time dodge comes out here from Fluttermane. We do like that. Because I think that was actually double KO. And, and now I can bring out Incineroar. And get off another Intimidate. Or I can just go into you. You're really good here. There's only a few turns left in the in the weather. Only 140 speed though, which is a little bit of a problem. I still feel like we should go into this, and maybe we'll swap Fluttermane into. Maybe we'll swap Fluttermane into uh, Incineroar, depending on who they throw out here. Let's see. It's gonna be their Walking Wake. Kind of tough, because I think we're both boosting Special Attack. They're faster than me, which is. Rather than win. I think we just stay on the field here. I think we have to stay on the field. I think we have to. So I'm going to go for Hydro Steam. On top of that, I am going to stay with my Dazzling Gleam. We have to stay on the field with... With Fluttermane at this point. Because if we swap Fluttermane, we give their Walking Wake a free shot onto my Walking Wake. And I'd rather just stick with Dazzling Gleam. So that's what I'm going to do. Dazzling Gleam is going to fly here. It is almost going to dump on that. Almost. Almost dumps on that. And Draco Meter is able to fly. So now they're going to pick up a double K actually brings this match really close really close and we might lose our first match for today's video actually this might be our first loss on casual ladder but you die out to that okay first of ice blades kills us though which is tough news it's tough news can you eat this yeah no shot critical hit too dumped on all right so now we're sitting here with incineroar and I don't really know how to feel. I have Citrus Spray, but one Precipice Blades kills us, man. It does kill us. It does kill us. I was hoping that Dazzling Gleam would have KO'd them, but I'm just going to go for a fake out here. Oh, you have clear amulet, don't you? I'm just going to protect. All right. The fake out is going to get blocked, and this is not looking good. We either have to outspeed, which I doubt we do, or dodge a Precipice Blades. Let's see. What's your speed at? I mean, dude, you didn't even proc Citrus Bear yet. There's no way you're outspeeding Groudon. We need a dodge here. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Please dodge. Nah, we don't dodge. Match number one. Going to go to our opponent. That is our first loss on the casual ladder. But still, rocking out with Groudon. Groudon just getting the best of us at the end there. Moving on to our second match. Looking for our first win with Groudon. And we're going up against a team with only Drought. With only Sun. Which we love. We love the sun here. So I'm going to go into Coridon here for a lead yet again. Alongside with probably Fluttermane or Walking Wake. Just another Pokemon that thrives out in the sun. And they could lead Incineroar. 
which could be a little bit of a problem, but I'm thinking I'm going to lead either... I think Fluttermane here. Honestly, Walking Wake's good here as well, but Fluttermane's going to be really good, super effective onto a lot of their Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm going to end up going into Fluttermane here. I do like that lead, Walking Wake in the back end, and last but not least, probably Incineroar of our own, or do we go into maybe, like, Rillaboom? I don't know. I think Incineroar is going to be a little bit better here, but my only problem here is going to be Defiant Annihilate, which I don't feel like dealing with, but we'll see. We shall see, but we're 0-1. Close first match, we ended up losing Groudon, getting the best of us. I do have a Groudon team to showcase very soon, but I want to use Karidon since I already used Miraidon. Super dope Pokemon. So we'll see. I think next up, we're going to do Kyogre and Groudon. Hopefully. Hopefully. I do love those Pokemon so much. We did showcase Rayquaza already. But they end up going into Ninetales and Annihilate. Don't mind it at all. Don't mind it at all. So from here, I could actually just go into Terra Flare Blitz. I could go into Terra Flare Blitz here. Um, you could Terrasilize Annihilate. But I think I might just go Collision Course maybe into Ninetales. Just get off some damage here. Could go Breaking Swipe, but honestly, no. Um, I doubt no Fairy moves are here. Crassalizing Fire could be good for us. But I think, again, I'm just going to go Collision Course here. And let's just Terrasalize or not. Do we Terrasalize Daz and Gleam? Yeah, let's do that. I think that's our best bet. Terra Daz and Gleam. Yeah, there's just so much damage output here, which I love. We got some speed cooking. They're probably going to Terrasalize as well. And if they don't Terrasalize Annihilate, it's gone. Which I'm hoping they don't. Annihilate's just such a big threat because then we can have Annihilate in the back end. Or not Annihilate, Incineroar in the back end. Be able to intimidate freely without having to worry about that Defiant ability. But we get our Terra going here. They do not touch Annihilate, so we can say bye-bye to that. We can say bye-bye to that. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. That's big time for us. That's a big time KO. So, so good call for us to Terrasalize. Now Collision Course is going to fly into this. <gasps> you outspeed me and you will o -wisp me. I should have Terra fired. That would have been sweet. But dang, man, I don't think we KO now. Maybe, actually. Let's see how much damage this thing can do. Collision Course coming in hot, even though we're burned. Even though we're burned, it's still KO. And it got a crit. We love it. We love it. That's some big time damage. That's some big time damage. And my boy's still hitting hard. He's burned. We have Fluttermane fully boosted right now. I think it honestly might outspeed any of their Pokemon. Except for maybe like a Booster Energy Rolling Moon. But I like your typing. I like Straight Fairy here. Incineroar is going to come out here. I might hard swap into my Incineroar at this point. But you're intimidating me now and it's just it's just a problem. And Walking Wake's going to fly through here. Honestly, if you're going to fake out anybody. If you're going to fake out anybody, it's going to be... It's going to be what's called. And actually, oh, you have clear ammo, which is good. So, yeah, you know, we might as well just keep you in. Go for collision course into this slot. And we're going to swap into Incineroar of our own. Because if you're going to do anything, I believe you're going to fake out my Fluttermane. My Fluttermane's the main threat here. So I'm just going to swap my Fluttermane. I'm just going to intimidate their Incineroar and then have fake out ability next turn. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. So we're going to intimidate up. I had my clear Emmet onto my, my boy, and he's going to fake out the Incineroar slot, just like we thought. That's big time for us. Hydra seems also going to fly here. Okay, you're going to take out my Incineroar. No big deal. No big deal. It is a 2v2 now. We do get off that Intimidate. And I do get off a Collision Course into this Incineroar, which is pretty solid. The so Collision Course flying here. How much damage are we doing? That's some damage. For being burned? That damage is absurd. That damage is absurd. So now I can bring back out Fluttermane and kind of force him to Terrasalize here, right? Yeah, Fluttermane definitely coming back out here. So I can go back into my Fluttermane. My Fluttermane, I believe, is faster than this Walking Wake. I believe it didn't Protosynthesis up in speed. I hope not, right? I kind of forgot to read it. But still, from here, we can just go into a beautiful another collision course into you. And just Dazzling Gleam should finish off Incineroar and do some big time damage on the Walking Wake. You do have Terra, but if you are going to Terrasalize anybody, it is going to be Walking Wake. So Walking Wake does outspeed. It goes for a Hydro Steam. That's a little upsetting. And Fluttermane survives. We love it. Big time. Big time soak. Big time soak on the Fluttermane. So it must have been Booster Energy and Speed. No big deal. Dazzling Gleam now going to fly. Probably double KO here, right? Yep. Get him on out of here. So match number two. Go into your boy. 
Karaidon, and Fluttermane thriving out here in match number two. Let's go hop to our third. Look for that 2-1 winning record. Moving on to our final match for today's video, and we're going up against a Trick Room team with Ice Rider Calories. Going to be a little bit of a problem, especially if they do pull off Trick Room. So we want to lead some big time attackers looking to get off some big time damage. And honestly, our best bet is probably Fluttermane and Karaidon. They hit way too hard. Choice specs on the Fluttermane. This thing's got its ability. We love it. So I'm going to end up leading both of them, and I'm going to bring Torkoal in the back end. If they do end up getting off Trick Room, we will have the Turtle ready to go. And then last but not least, we could go Incineroar. We could go Rillaboom here as well, because Rillaboom, pretty solid. Actually, decent. Um, do I want Rillaboom? Do I want Rillaboom, or would I rather have, like, Incineroar? Kind of tough call here. I think I want Rillaboom. Just being being able to have that first turn priority with Grass Glide could be really good, especially up against Ursa Luna or even Regilecki. And then having it fake out as well. I don't know, but my main hope is here just to just not let them set up Trick Room, right? That's my main hope here. So they have two Trick Room setters, which would be Cresselia and Shadow, or not Shadow Rider, Ice Rider Calyrex. Depending on who they go into, we're just going to double down. We are just going to double down. Because I'm thinking we're going to probably Terrasalize our Karaidon and just go Flare Blitz. Sounds deadly, right? It sounds really good. It sounds really good. I like it. But if they go Ice Rider, Calyx, and Crest, then we're going to be in like a little bit of an issue where it's like, who do we go into? And they're going to end up doing this. So they could set Tailwind. They could honestly set Tailwind. They could honestly set Tailwind. Now, I think our best bet would just be to terrestrialize the Karate on here because Glacial Lance, that's a big time threat move. And honestly, that's a Dragon type Pokemon on the field as well. So Fire Typing going to be in our best interest. So yeah, that's going to be my play. We don't want them setting up Trick Room. They're, they have a hard Trick Room. Too. A pretty hard Trick Room. So I'm going to Terrasalize you. And do I just go Flare Blitz or do I go Collision Course? So I could honestly just Collision Course here. But um, yeah, we're going to go Flare Blitz. I'd rather just get rid of Ice Rider Calyrex and then go Dazzling Gloom across the board. All right, cool. Hyper Offensive again. Karaidon Fluttermane. Looking to rip after it in match number three. Let's do it. Let's do it. So big time Terra coming out from him. Nice lovely fire. I do like the fire defensive Terra on it. Because it works so well for offensive as well. It does learn Flare Blitz in the song. So we're going to see a Terra pop out from them as well. This is probably Calyrex. And it is going to be Calyrex into straight fire. So this is honestly perfect. And I think they get off Trick Room now. Hurts the soul, but we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Tailwind fly. So maybe not Trick Room. Maybe no Trick Room coming out here. Maybe zero trick room. Glacial Lance does outspeed us. Oh, this move is awesome. Chill! That is some absurd damage. A bit too much damage. Chilling Nade's gonna get boosted. They went with the Tailwind route. Flare Blitz gonna fly here. I don't like this damage output here. Do not like it. Do not like it. We do do decent damage, though. Decent damage. We will take a little bit of recoil. And from here, we're gonna be forced to go into the turtle here. So the turtle is here, ready to go, ready to do some big time damage. Turtle's out and about. We're going to have to go for collision course into this slot to look to KO. And we're going to just try to erupt. Eruption should still do a decent amount of damage. But Calyrex, mm -mm -mm, in the tailwind. That's, that's something new, right? That is something new. That thing's outspeeding both my Pokemon, going crazy in the tailwind. I guess it's built faster. I think it's just made, this seems made to just like throw you off of I like that. So we're going to end up seeing a Leer into the turtle. Yeah, Leer's going to pop out here from Torkoal. And we're going to eject pack out of here. This is crazy because now I just lose my Rillaboom. Now I just lose my Rillaboom. Now <laughs> Rillaboom's just gone. Because they're going for Glacial Lance and they're just going to pick up a KO on me. Let's see. Maybe he goes to like a high horsepower or something. That'd be even better. Let's see. And they do. They do go for high horsepower. So that actually works perfectly. Actually works perfectly because Collision Course should pick up the KO here. It should pick up the KO, and it does. Okay. Okay. Now we get rid of that. Phew! Glacial Lance would have been a real threat to us there. So good thing they did go for high horsepower. And Leer. So a Jack Pack. Actually, money. It was perfect. And we get some HP back. All right, cool. So they're sitting here with a couple Tailwind turns left. Um, I got Fake Out ready to go. So this will be this could be a big turn for us. 
depending on what they want to do here. Um, who could they bring out here? Regilecki, maybe? It's going to be Regilecki. So Regilecki comes out here. Um, fake out could be pretty good into that slot. I could double down if I want to. I think I'm just going to collision course to KO you. And then I'm just going to fake out this thing because I could start grassy gliding that slot in a little bit, which could be really good for us. They don't have Terra anymore, which we love. Collision course should be able to do a huge chunk of damage, probably KO this, this uh, morning moon. As long as it's not Sash. We don't need a Sash guy over here. We don't need it. So he ends up just protecting. Okay, he's just going to end up protecting you. No big deal. Fake out's going to pop into you. You better not be Covert Cloaked. You are Covert Cloaked. Are you kidding me? Thunderbolt we soak, which is nice. The collision course is going to get blocked. So, oh man. Do we waste out the last turn of Tailwind? So there's one turn left in Tailwind. There is one turn left in Tailwind. But I think we're just going to attack here. So if I can get rid of both these guys, which there is a nice chance. I do have Miracle Seed on Roll Boom. I got Miracle Seed on Roll Boom. So I'm looking to Grassy Clyde the Regilecki. And its attack is actually through the roof. 194. Dude, this might KO. This could be a big turn for us. So I'm going to go Collision Course again into this slot. And I'm just going to go for a Grassy Clyde just to outspeed. Do some damage into Regilecki. I'm hoping, dude, we need this grass guy to KO. Luckily, this rule boom is just boosted so high on physical attack. This could be huge for us because Regilecki is a lightweight. And this is why I brought in rule boom because grass guy is just so good up against it. So grass guy comes out here. It almost, it doesn't pick up the KO, which is tough news. Knockoff going to finish this off. Oh, man. That really hurts the soul. We do have the turtle. We do have the turtle ready to go. But that, that that's really tough, man. That grass guy really does that to me. And Thunderbolt's going to fly, which we should soak. Yep, all day. Big time soak. He is going to get back a little bit of HP. We can now grass guide into that slot and just finish that off. Um, and their Tailwind's gone. So I have the Turtle late game here. That Dude, that would have been so big. We pick up a KO onto that that uh, Regilecki there. That would have been big. It would have been real big. But from here, I could just go for Eruption. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Erupt, and I am just going to go for... A grass guide, or do we wood hammer and read a protect from Regilecki? I could easily read a protect from Regilecki, but I'm just gonna stick with the grass guide. Yeah, okay, cool. So simple play turns out to be really well for us. We get rid of you. Let's see what he ends up doing into with the Warren Moon. He's gonna go for knockoff, which does a decent amount of damage. We don't have an item anymore. And eruption's gonna fly. Almost doing half. Almost doing half. We like that. We get a crit. That's why. Okay. So crit helping us out. The sunlight is gone, which hurts us. It really does hurt us. But it does take off its protosynthesis, and it just boosts our energy back up. Okay. So booster energy is here. They don't have Terra. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Who you got? Who's your final guy? Let's see. Who is your final Pokemon? Good thing for Torkoal is he does get back HP. And they're going to throw out their final guy, which is going to be Archeludon. Something we don't really like here. I'm going to go for another Eruption, and I think I'm just going to go for a Woodhammer in this slot. Archie Lodon could protect here as well. Oh, man. Tough news for us. This is why I wanted my Coridon. This is why I wanted him. Let's see. Knockoff going to fly here, do more damage onto the Torkoal. We're going to go for an Iron Defense here. So Iron Defense going to fly. I mean, I was already not doing a lot of damage to you regardless. But Woodhammer's going to pick up the KO. Not bad. I actually did a lot of damage. And you're often going to fly here. Probably not do anything crazy. Oh, wait a minute. An Overheat might be able to finish this off. An Overheat looks like it might be able to finish this off. He's going to get back a ton of HP. Overheat's looking plentiful damage. It's looking real big in damage. So we gotta see how many turns are left in the grassy terrain because I think they're just gonna protect here. And actually, the terrain just ended. But I really want it for damage output. But from here, we're going for overheat. Overheat hits. This is 150, but I think overheat's hitting just as hard. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into a wood hammer, do as much damage as I can. He's gonna end up protecting, and body press probably KOs us, to be honest. I wish I had like a redirection move here. I wish I did. I wish I did. Is he body pressing me? Mm, it's game set match. It be game set match. 
Archie Ludon. Probably just getting the best of us. This is tough matchups for us today. But honestly, I feel like we showcase uh, Karadon decently well. But we're going to go for the Overheat. We're going to go for the Woodhammer yet again. And Body Press going to fly. Can you soak Turtle? Turtle soaks. Turtle soaks. Hold up. Turtle soaks. But I do negative one damage. Can I get a crit here? Give me a, I need. I pretty, I pretty much need a crit with this Overheat. I pretty much need a crit with this Overheat. Let's see what we got. I'm just KOing. Let's go. The turtle. The turtle in the back end. Clutch it up with overheat. Let's go. 2-1 winning record for today's video. The Karaidon team prevails, grabbing you guys a winning record. I absolutely love this team, by the way. You got the whole Sun Squad. You got Karaidon, Torkoal, Walking Wake, Flutterman. Incineroar thrives out in the sun. The only Pokemon that doesn't thrive out in the sun is going to be Rillaboom. But Rillaboom was such a huge part of today's team, getting us that winning record and helping us win this match. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.